All right. Um, this is my, I guess, my first actual video that I'm planning on keeping, and I thought it'd be appropriate uh, with my newer computer and newer camera here and trying it out that I'd also uh, talk about uh, 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 going to the dentist. Thought it'd be a good story. Uh, maybe teach a little people, uh, uh, entertain people a little bit at the same time. Anyways, I've uh, recently been to the dentist. Um, <clears throat> Um, had had to say some work done. I had a tooth break on me to, 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 to that got me in there. Um, I've uh, been one of these people that uh, to say my habits of teeth haven't been the best to what I th how I thought teeth should have been taken care of. I guess to say I was doing maybe uh, you know fifty percent of the care of teeth that I was thinking when when uh, now how I'm actually taking care of my teeth. I'd say I'm probably closer uh, you know to where I'm. Sh I know I'm doing what I should be doing, but comparing it to what I've been doing, it's probably was doing only 10% of what I, how I should have been doing and all the little stuff and whatnot, you know, with, with, with flossing, mouthwash, and, and brushing, and how often, and everything. So uh, uh, I thought about uh, making a video. Now, I had a tight teeth uh, growing up to the point where I'd almost pry them apart with my, my own um, uh, 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 fingers, and I had uh, you know, popcorn kernels and a long time ago, you know, back in the back one of my molars whatnot uh, a couple times different ones broke uh due to eating foods and whatnot and uh never just you know nothing that ever caused me issues well uh finally when i was i guess about 27 somewhere around there um uh, uh i actually got a toothache one day and uh, i went in and they said oh oh you had a i had an infected tooth and then and, and uh, the, the the best thing to do with it was just to pull it so uh they said uh, there may be other, there might be two other teeth. They said at the time. So the, um, now I had my wisdom teeth were essentially still covered up. I would I would say you know by my gums itself, but they were just exposed a little. But uh, 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 they never I, I think served me a purpose. They were just pressing on my teeth, causing me the uh, uh, issues I guess to say with my mouth. Um, but never to the point ever needed to go to the dentist. Just when that pain actually started when I was about twenty seven. Now, uh, uh, I went in, uh, uh, they said, uh, you got to go to see the, the, um, the people that do that. Uh, uh, I don't like needles and stuff. So, uh, they're, you know, they use gas or whatever to, 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 to be able to put me out and whatnot. And so I'm not around needles and whatnot. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, 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 they go there and then they <laughs> see first my, my dentist, uh, uh, that I had since I was a child is the one I went and saw again. Um. They put like that piece of paper in your mouth and they took a little x-ray from the side, you know, putting that scope on. Well, when I went to see the, the next dentist, the one that was going to be doing the work, they had me sit and the machine went around my head, you know, where like, you know, it takes a full uh, scan of, I guess, to, to express it that way, I guess, of an x-ray uh, of everything. And then uh, they told me that I had uh, 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 more teeth. They said that at least three were, were, were no done, were, were no good. They took a look in my mouth, look quick, you know, whatever. And then, uh, so I... <laughs> I had to make, you know, you're, you're, you're going home, they're coming back, uh, uh, cause you had to take, um, antibiotics, I believe it was to be able to kill the infection before they do the operation. Anyways, uh, I, I go back and then they're, you know, you have to go to the hospital and they, they you know, put you out, uh, 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 with gas. So I didn't have to be around when they put the needle in me, uh, awake for the needle in me and then they put me to sleep. So I wake up and lo and behold, they've taken 70, they took out my four wisdom teeth and then the three damaged I guess to would say or impacted teeth I think is what they referred to them as out of my mouth so uh I never had any uh issues after then and then uh, about let's say three three months ago it was about maybe yeah three uh, uh my front bottom tooth broke with a perfect like a perfect angle but about a 50 degree angle so it was past like the halfway point behind my tooth and you couldn't see it when I was actually talking like like I, you know uh, I had to say, you know, so this one right down here had broken like that, but you couldn't see it. Like, even if I had done this then, you wouldn't have seen it. Now, this front tooth here had um, maybe a 10 degree chip in it The uh, from the bottom up. I had done a long time ago, never bothered me. And then between my two teeth, the same tooth had chipped maybe a, a, a five degree angle, just a slight little chip again. And it, again, never bothered me very much. But this one here, when it chipped, uh, you know, like a, a 50 degree, uh, you know, 45 or whatever, about, about there, I guess. So 50 degree down, you can, it was very sharp on the front edge 
and and you know I, I didn't want to chew on it so I ended up having to make an appointment you know I'll wait wait the time whatever blah 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 going to see the, the dentist and I already knew I didn't like needles and I'd from when I was a child my old dentist already knew I didn't like needles and they didn't they don't provide them laughing gas so I was trying to find somebody that would provide laughing gas uh that you know to be able to be calm down to calm down essentially to be able to do this um and then uh, lo and behold, when we when they, we find a place that does have it, and it's just nearby on top of that, uh, they also provided a new thing called the wand. Um, it's, uh, I don't want to call it a needle. It's not like walking over like that. It's a little machine that has a little, like a really small, like a little needle on the end. Um, uh, even I think it has a little angle if I'm correct, but it's on the end of like, it looks like a little pencil uh, with a little, you know, uh, like a little wire coming out of the back. And uh, they, they, all they do is instead of poking you, uh, having to poke you, I say, I should say, um, is they go between the teeth, uh, right between the gum and the tooth, and they just put it in there. And it's almost like you're, you're cleaning your teeth with a toothpick, you know, and you, it doesn't hurt or anything. It's just a little, you know, if you, you know, not the, you know, to say you know, feels great. But anyways, it's just a little, little it, a bit of discomfort. And you hear the machine going beep, 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 and it, I guess it's pumping it in. What what hurts, especially when they freeze, is when they stab you in the gum. It's not necessarily that. It's how f the speed they're pushing and injecting the fluid in. That's what ends up hurting you. Um, me, it's the issue with the needle that I actually have. I don't like. I just don't like the needle. Um, uh, it's not necessarily the pain. Uh, when they when they when I went in, I went in for this tooth, and then they said that actually the front this one here that I had had that those two chips was actually worse. Um, and they they just fixed it right away that day, um, and then made other appointments because they said I had other teeth that should be taken care of. And I was like, oh, okay, might as well, you know what I mean? They were looking at my mouth then and and get everything done. <clears throat> Anyways, they they uh, uh put that little thing between there, and it at uh, first I know they did it over here because they did I think two teeth or maybe three over here the first time they they fixed you know the, uh like they they just uh, I. Uh, 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 they grinded. I know some uh, one of these tooth. I forget which one. I know they grinded one of them, and then they repaired something. They said something was there, nothing that I even was aware of. But they did something. So uh, uh, they did that. But so they stuck me in between a whole bunch of times, and then they even told me that when they were going to go between my teeth here and stick me, they said you are going to feel this one regardless because it's uh, it's connected to something in there. And they said uh, you were going to feel this, and and uh, uh, I didn't. Uh, I, I felt it, you know, and. and but it went away with the freezing and everything. Um, uh, they said that I had very, very sensitive nerves too because they needed, uh, when I went in other times, they had to refreeze me, stick again. And then uh, even on one of the occasions, uh, they had stuck, they they took that little, same little thing and they stuck me in the palate, which is a little stingy. But again, it's not, it's the needle itself and you're coming in with the needle that you can, you know, like this that I have those big issues with. Anyways, uh, uh, there's a little one thing uh, that I was oh, I didn't bother me. I didn't even use gas, uh, la or laughing gas, if you will, or ni ni nitrous oxide, or nitro, whatever. Anyways, um, I didn't even use that because I was very comfortable. The lady made me that was very comfortable. They treated, you know, very very kindly and everything, and, and was able to make, say make you very at ease and calm. It helps a lot when you make the situation that way. On top, you know, you're you're going in and you don't even know you know that that they're saying you don't even need a needle. That you know adds a lot, so I was actually really happy with that. Uh, what didn't bother me at all. Um, uh, they ended up uh, on the second time I went back in. They're like, "Well, which tooth do you want fixed now?" I said, "Well, can I have the one that I came in for fixed?" And the funny part is, is I was actually thinking they were going to take out the wand and stick me with it, and they said, "No, you don't even need it." And I'm like, "Well, I'm missing a lot." Like I know they can see it even better than I can, but I can feel it. And I'm like, "Well, I'm missing a lot of tooth." And the tooth that I had up here that was barely missing anything, you guys stabbed me for. And the tooth that I'm missing a whole bunch on, you guys aren't going to stab me. But I, I assume, because I guess it was maybe a fresh break, and, and uh, ca the cavity hadn't, I guess, or whatever, hadn't set in place, you know, and caused more more issues in the surrounding. But they just got in there, and they started grinding, and they didn't even freeze me or anything. And I was, you know, I was scared that whole time that I was going to feel something, but because... Uh, the times they, uh, 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 you know, ha had been uh, poked me the first time in the middle, the second poke, like the first poke, I felt a little, but when they had to poke me the second time between the two teeth, the first time I went in, um, they said, you're going to feel this even more because I, because they started working and I felt them, uh, you know, I did a little like, ooh, stop, you know, and they're like, 
they, they, I still felt it, so they had to refreeze a second time, and they said the second poke, I was going to feel it. I really did. It hurt for, I'd say, almost five, six days. It was sore. Mo the other two teeth were done being sore probably within a day or two, uh, uh, the area there. But right between in here, between up there, it was sore for uh, five, six days. And I mean sore, like, especially if I had food or anything press up in there in any shape or form, it was, you know. But when they did this tooth, they didn't even freeze me or anything. I went home and it was all fine. And then um, they asked me what I wanted to do next. I said, because when I had went in, I had mentioned this tooth was broken. That's the one I really wanted done. And I said, I think my, because I, uh, like I said, I have my four wisdom teeth in the back removed. And then I have two of my top back teeth, or sorry, two of my bottom back teeth have been removed. And one more on this side of my back teeth have been removed um so i have like still uh, uh you know so i still have it's different so it only feels in my mouth i only feel like i'm missing one single tooth is all i feel like i'm missing is over here um and when i had went in uh i had i'd only went in for uh uh like this and i had said my one back tooth on the bottom back here still that's there that's the, you know the one that i'm missing from over here the one that i have still here uh, uh, the only, uh, 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 I said, I think there's a little pin, like a teeny weeny little cavity, if I called it. I said, I don't know if that's what you're referring to, but it's a little tiny hole. I think I can feel it there. And they, they said, oh yeah, yeah, you have a cavity there. And then they told me, because I never remember having ever cavity, like I never going to the dentist since I've been, was probably, let's say 20, give or, give or take a year when I was about 20. I met my dentist on the road from my childhood. He said, I'll oh, just come in, we'll have a checkup. And he said when I was about 20, 21, he said, oh, nothing's bad here. Uh, and I, I, you know, like I say, I was about 27 years old and I had that toothache. And I went in uh, uh, to see the dentist and they said it was a bad tooth. They're going to pull it, whatnot. Anyways, they did all, they took out the, the wisdom teeth too. Um, anyways, uh, uh, I said I had a little thing. Now, when I had went in, I guess it was the third or fourth time I'd went into the dentist. They they say you know which tooth there and I said well let's get this this one that I had uh, the cav that I thought I had a cavity and you said I did let's take it out so then she starts doing her thing because they're doing I think two teeth at the same time but they're doing it and they said uh you, they were taking out a cavity they were already removing a cavity from in there and they said you had a cavity like, I don't even remember having a cavity and they said how young I could have been very very young um because it was one I I don't know if they were saying one of my you know anyways it was a very young tooth or whatever that but that when they actually removed the cavity that had been there that it was very i guess dirty underneath it too now it had caused other issues like after they fixed it is actually you know i had to go back a few times to, to have it fixed again um uh almost immediately uh, uh there were sens sensitivity issues with it uh uh, of being with it, you know, and, uh, you know, so I didn't want to, you know, I didn't wait or anything. I'm not going to wait at all. But uh, uh, I had went in because I had scheduled already for other teeth, but they just, you know, prioritized that anyways. So I got it all done. Anyways, my teeth, you know, like I say, I'm all uh, been doing what I should do. I uh, to say uh, I, I brush each and every time since I've been to the going to the dentist uh, 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 for, 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 for my this single tooth issue, I have not missed a, a tooth brushing, uh, and I do it after every meal, uh, snacks included, um, and I also do it first thing in the morning when I get up uh, and before bed. Um, and then I also uh, 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 I even ask the dentist, can you show me exactly how with not like the way they clean your teeth? I said. Take, give me a toothbrush and show me exactly what I'm to be doing with my teeth. People have different mouths, do different, can, can brush their teeth differently. But I asked them to show me exactly what should be done with my teeth and how to do it. So, you know, they showed me exactly with a, with a toothbrush, exactly how I was to be doing my own teeth uh, uh, specifically. So I got that. And then I also floss every single night. Or if I feel like I ever have something in my teeth, I get in there right away. I don't know. Uh, and uh, uh, I had a... Uh, 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 a mouthwash too that I use um, uh, uh, every night. I, I use it guaranteed every night before bed. Not all the time, um, but I use it at night every night um, to just to make sure I get you know, a clean mouth when I want to sleep. Um, uh, 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 then uh, I should also state that uh, uh, just having a little mind lapse. I just had thought about it earlier. Um, 
uh, uh, I was told by my dentist I shouldn't be using toothpicks, you know, because I used to use them a lot. and Never had, I guess, to say issue, but they were saying that could cause issues. But they had, I had that to mention too, because um, people may, may 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 think about that. Um, and uh, you should ask your dentist. I'm I'm stating uh, you, uh, uh, about it. Uh, how you should actually brush your own teeth. I'm pretty sure they're going to tell you, you know, you shouldn't brush up and down. It's it's in a circular motion and you're supposed to, you know, try to go over top of the gum line. So you're sort of, not say pushing the gum line only up, you know, if you're brushing up and down only and on the tooth, that means you're constantly pushing back and forth on the gum. The gum line will get bigger and bigger. So when you're actually rubbing back and coming down on that gum line, you, you know, it stays even for you. So, uh, now, like I say, I had a, 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 a um, issues in my mouth that I hadn't even, I wasn't even very aware of, and and because of my previous visit, had been when I had seen the dentist. It was probably I don't know five or six years since I had seen the dentist since I had seen him when I was about twenty, and you know, so it was about uh, another seven, I guess, you know, six seven years when I had that issue. So. Had I been going to the dentist often, it would have been a different story. And I, yeah, just to say, a person that doesn't like going going into social and public places, and it was a big drawback for me. Most people are way more social than I am, and I have absolutely no excuse for it. But uh, you know, for myself, regardless to to social kind of uh, uh, problems, uh, I've sort of prioritized uh, my dental hygiene. Also, I did a lot of reading about it because it, it has has to do with a lot of other parts of your health kind of like your eyes do too um so uh, uh uh you know one of the things that i asked uh i says uh to, to to my dentist i said is there anything with odor that you guys can tell and the one thing they told me that i had no clue about was they said people that have diabetes have a certain odor to their mouth and i was completely like oh wow because i asked my like i know that everybody thinks i'm kind of weird but i ask like a lot of off off questions you know like i asked them all the names of the teeth and then they because i'm asking always questions they even will tell me things that you know maybe you don't you don't talk, talk to normal but they they told me like the the numbering and the ordering of teeth is different than it is in the america here in canada than it is over in the united states of america so you know it's just those kind of little facts that they know i guess I, i'm interested in but uh you know, go see your dentist, get an overall checkup, you know what I mean? Make sure you're on top of it and make sure you're brushing gum. Um, um, the problem with uh, having dirty teeth is actually the food that you might not think is even there is there and it's rotting. And that's what's going to cause the problems in your teeth. Um, though, like I said, I didn't have, like I say, like I, like, I never had no problems, and then when I actually had my first tooth cleaning, that because I haven't, I had my tooth cleaning when I was maybe twenty, like I say about twenty, I'd went in there and they gave me a little, you know, looked at my teeth and cleaned them up. Um, this time when I went in, when I came back out, I told them that my tooth, my teeth felt like tooth pegs, like it felt like I had, especially behind, like I had like like that my teeth were actually shaped differently, like that they weren't all so tight. Like in the back, they kind of felt like there was a space there. I know there's a space, but they felt like they were like that. And not, you know, so when you were looking at them, they felt like this kind of. And then it felt like they were, they were like literally like that, my teeth after they cleaned them. And this, and I said, my teeth feel really weird. And they said, that's how they're supposed to feel. And, you know, so, you know, I got home and since then and flossed. And uh, like I said, uh, so now when I touch and I rub my teeth along the back, like I can feel like, like wedge wedged area you know spaces especially that come down towards the bottom of the tooth and i know what my teeth are supposed to feel like but it feels really nice now to clean my teeth and keep the upkeep to them it's almost to say an addiction at this point um like if i as soon as i eat or like i don't even want to eat like to me uh, i don't even want to drink things at certain times especially after i brush my teeth at night it's like only it can only be water because i don't want to put nothing on my teeth um from cleaning them and going to go sleep and have anything sitting on them you know kind of idea because if you're if you're asleep you're not sitting there you know rubbing your tongue creating saliva and cleaning your own mouth up naturally like you would do because you're talking and things so uh, uh i hope people will get their uh, teeth uh, checked out and cleaned um like i say i got a the nice dentist here in uh, uh, um, on uh, Canada, Ontario. Here I live in southern Ontario, and I live in Rodney. Um, and this uh, uh, um, Newberry Dental, I believe it's called, um, a very nice uh, 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 lady there. Um, I have laps on names there that they all have. Uh, 
relatively new there, but uh, you know, uh, they offered a lot of services that I didn't even know existed, uh, or a service that I didn't even know existed, plus everything. So go check it out, uh, or other places. All right, thanks. Bye.